Well, today, a judge ruled that two defendants will have to stand trial for the deadly ghost ship warehouse fire. 36 people died in that fire in Oakland last year. The preliminary hearing has taken over a week. ABC 7 News reporter Leslie Brinkley has the details. Judge Jeffrey Horner echoed witness testimony in calling the ghost ship a death trap. He ruled the case will proceed to trial, saying, quote, both defendants are legally responsible for what happened on that terrible night and are responsible for the deaths of 36 individuals, end quote. Oakland Fire Marshal Miguel Trujillo was the final witness for the prosecution. He testified they had received no complaints about the ghost ship that would have warranted a fire inspection prior to the fire. He stated there were no alarms, sprinklers, or illuminated exit signs. The defense disagreed. That the premises were you know, beautiful and orderly and aesthetic and clean and therefore not the death trap. We are confident we can prevail at, with, with a jury. We, we don't expect, we never expected to prevail at this hearing. It's too politically charged of a case. In closing arguments, prosecutors said there was negligence involved with chemicals stored in the warehouse, lots of wood and an illegal staircase that all contributed to the fire spreading quickly on December 2nd, 2016. 36 people died. Their names were read aloud in court today as victims' friends and families broke down in tears. The bailiff passed around a box of tissues. Defendants Derek Elmena and Max Harris both faced 36 counts of involuntary manslaughter. An attorney for the victim's family said it's the first step for them in getting accountability and justice. The defendants will be back in court on January the 2nd. A ghost ship trial is likely to take place here next summer. In Oakland, I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News.